Yo, what's good, y'all? I'm back. It's Cole Krugel here again, and today I'm going to be talking about how to change the tempo of a song inside Pro Tools. Remember my previous video where I re-entered the tempo in the transport panel? Well, when you re-enter the tempo here, this is called manual tempo. Using manual tempo in conjunction with elastic audio, you can change the tempo of an entire song or Pro Tools session. You might ask, why you'd want to change the tempo? Well, maybe the vibe of the song needs to be a hair slower, a hair faster, but you don't want to re-record the entire song. Or maybe you do want to re-record the entire song, but you want to get a feel for how it might sound at a particular tempo before you re-record to it. It's important to keep in mind that you should only do slight adjustments for it to sound realistic. However, that might not be what you're going for. Maybe you don't want it to sound realistic. Somebody might hit me up and ask me to chop and screw a song. So, of course, I'm going to drastically slow the song down in order to get that sludgy feel because that's what we're going for. All right, now let's get into the steps to do this. First thing we're going to do is select every single audio track in our session. Now, once we've done this, we're going to hold shift option and click on this little clock icon that I'm circling right here. By holding shift and option, it allows me to change this setting for every single track that's selected. So shift option, click and change it from samples into ticks. Now the next thing you want to do is find all the drums or the rhythm section of your beat and select all of those tracks. Once we've done this, you see this little uh, elastic audio icon right here that I'm circling. Shift option, click that, and we're going to change that setting to rhythmic. Now, the next order of business would be to select all of the melodic elements of your beat or production. Now, after this, you're going to shift option, click the elastic audio on those and change it to polyphonic. With the vocals, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click all of those and shift option click, elastic audio, and polyphonic. All right, so let's play a section of the song just so you can hear what it sounds like. I'm going to pull up my transport panel with command one. And as you see, my tempo is 78. All right, here we go. Let's take a listen. Cool. So now that we've heard it, let's play around with tempo a little bit. So I'm going to click on the tempo in my transport panel. Let's actually do something drastic just to make sure it's working and we notice it. So, you know, tempo 78. Let's let's try 115. So we could also try slowing it down. Let's try, uh, let's do 50. So as you can see, that's this pretty drastic. Normally, you know, if you're just doing a tempo change, you might change it slightly. So, you know, let's try by adding five and making it 83. So that that sounds a lot more realistic. More often than not, you're gonna be doing something like that. I hope this was helpful and I hope you, you know, get to experiment doing a couple things like this.